Okay, to bring up the clock app, we're gonna go down to search and search for clock. There's the app, go ahead and click it to run. Okay, now what you'll notice here is the clock app has some basic tools, common tools that you would see in a clock app, such as a timer. So here you have some default set timers that you can choose from, or you can click on a timer and you can adjust the duration here. And so you can play the timer and you can minimize this while you're working and you will hear an alarm when the timer runs out. The other thing you have is an alarm. Yes, you can actually use this clock as an alarm. Simply turn it on and set your time here. Then we also have the stopwatch. Here you can go ahead and run this like you would any stopwatch to measure the amount of time it takes to get something completed. Then we have the world clock. And here you're going to see your local time, but you can come down to the bottom right and you can add additional time zones. Simply search for a location. I'll put in Tokyo, Japan and add. And I'll add another one. And what I like about this is we also have a visual map showing us the exact locations of these time zones. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is this right here, focus sessions. This is a newer tool that's built into the clock. This allows you to focus on your tasks. So what I can do here is I can set the duration of time that I would like to work on specific tasks. Now, if you're going a longer duration, say 60 minutes, you can actually have a break. If you don't want breaks, you can go ahead and skip that by checking the box here. I'll go ahead and leave the break in because, you know, I think it's important to take a break now and again to keep your mind fresh. All right, down below that, you have tasks. You can add tasks that you would like to work on. And I can click select for session to add this task to this session I'm currently setting up. Notice here off to the right, you're gonna see daily progress. This is nice because over time, it's gonna show you how much time you've spent focused on your tasks. Okay, and then all I have to do is click start focus session. This will start the clock. Notice here, I'm gonna work for 27 minutes and then I'm gonna get a five minute break. Down here, you can see that I'm working on the develop music curriculum task. And once completed, I can go ahead and mark that as a completed task. 